ladies and gentlemen, we have all been catfished. Uh, but I, I got to admit it, I was wrong. I thought I had the Ukraine cinematic universe figured out. I thought that what was going to happen was we were going to have the spring summer offensive movie. We had the trailers. We had everyone hyping it up. We had the trash talk. We even had the first 20 minutes of the film released uh, that showed Ukraine getting completely and totally destroyed. And the part of the film where it looks really dark and people are starting to question it. But it turned out that it was not spring summer offensive that it wasn't even part of phase two of the Ukraine cinematic universe. It was actually a lead up to phase three, civil war. So we are doing the James Bond reboot of Spectre called Wagner. We are gonna, we are gonna finish up the, uh, the spring, summer, fall offensive. We're gonna have a civil war. We all thought that Putin was the Thanos of the Ukraine cinematic universe. We all thought that he was the big bad. And that Bergosia was maybe like his Loki or his Nova or Nebula or, or something like that. And that he wasn't the real villain. But it turns out that Bergosian was the big bad this whole time. And it actually was not, it actually was not Putin. Um, Putin was, uh, I don't even know. Anyways. So yeah, like just when you thought that this thing couldn't get more like a bad Marvel movie, we have this random ass coup that comes out of nowhere. Okay, so let's just take a step back and this is gonna be out of date when I put it up because stuff's moving very quickly. So a little bit of background, Bergoshin is the head of the Wagner organization. Now, my understanding is he's not the military commander of it. He is the owner of it, or at least the part owner of it. And he's kind of like the CEO and spokesman of it. And he's frankly kind of insane. Um, if you've been watching him, any of his vlogs for like the last six, four months or whatever, basically his vlogs are like he goes on tirades about how the Russian army's incompetent, how the defense ministry's evil, about how he doesn't have enough artillery shells, he doesn't have enough firepower, he doesn't have enough air support. And he just basically bitches and complains about that and demands more. And he's, he's a very um, histrionic, frankly kind of mentally unstable person there was a bunch of video or at least one video he did where he like showed a bunch of his troops like dead soldiers and was yelling about how it was the ministry of defense's fault for not giving him more artillery and as of today from from my understanding he has declared what sounds like a military coup or some kind of uprising he gave a big unhinged speech about how uh the Defense Department of Russia is evil. The defense minister needs to go. Interestingly, he did what happens in a lot of monarchies where he claims Putin didn't know about any of this. Uh, he was receiving bad advice and he was being lied to. Uh, he said that the uh, spring offensive is going very poorly for Russia. They're getting pushed back and destroyed. And it's up to him to save the motherland. But this is not a military coup, he said. This is a march for justice. And so I present to you ye, ye, the Ukraine cinematic universe premier blockbuster summer film, Wagner, Civil War, The March for Justice. And as of making this video, they have issued um, the state security service in Russia has issued a arrest warrant for Bergosian and the military has called on Wagner to stand down. Now, I don't know what's happening. This whole thing could just be like Bergosian has gone off his meds or like he drank too much coffee and he's just like unhinged and yelling stuff. He's like become Russia's version of Joe Biden. That's entirely possible. This could all be some like 24 hour op on his part to try to get more money from the Russian government. And he just went too far this time. That's possible. A lot of people are saying that this is a big psyop, that this is a 24 five hour G slur op to throw Ukraine off guard so that Russia can launch its counterattack to the counterattack, which I guess would just be an attack. So if it's a counter to a counterattack, it would just be a normal attack. Um, and this is some big plot. I don't think that's the case. I really can't see the Russian army tolerating Bergosian like 
doing what he's doing and undermining the army's authority. Um, in that fashion, the Russian army seems pretty disciplined and I, I just can't see like a military commander behaving this way and it being part of some sort of big plan. But maybe it is. Maybe this is like the best, um, the best, uh, maybe he actually, like, because I don't know what he's going to do. I'm not sure where Wagner's located, but I don't think they're very close to Moscow. There's only, what, 25 to 50,000 of them. The Russian army has hundreds of thousands of, of soldiers in the area. Um, they've had their strategic reserves. I don't think their strategic reserves have been committed to the front line. Uh, they're still just basically in skirmishing distance with Ukraine. So if he thinks he can take the country in a military coup, it just seems weird that he thinks he can beat the Russian army, which the Russians could probably detach, like, one or two hundred thousand people fairly easily and take him out. Um, plus all the air support, the artillery support. Uh, he has no way of getting resupplied, reinforcements. There's also the question, are all the members of Wagner going to follow him? And none of them are going to remain loyal to Putin. None of them are going to remain loyal to the, the Russian state. The only way that coups ever work is if they're, uh, they can gain some sort of widespread support among the military, among the government. And I haven't seen any indication of this as of this video being filmed. So I'm just going to say I, I honestly don't know. I, um, I didn't think, and I've denied this in the past, that if I was wrong, I was wrong, that Bergoglio was going to do this. And I said that because I, it didn't make any sense to me. He doesn't have the soldiers to carry out a coup unless he knows something we don't. Um, it just, it seemed very just stupid and short-sighted. Also, I feel like Putin would have removed him or had him assassinated or something would have happened to prevent this from occurring. So I don't know. Is it a coup? Is it a PSYOP? Is it Prigozhin being Prigozhin? Uh, we're going to find out if you want like a schizo theory, um, Here's my schizo theory. Um, Bergoshan is actually working for NATO. Um, he switched sides sometime after the fall of Bakhmut when he felt he wasn't getting the credit and money he was due. And NATO's promised him a bunch of money and that he can be president of a post-Putin um, Russia. And that, um, as you may have noticed, that they've been praising him in Western media for quite some time now. And I guess that's because he's been criticizing the Russian MOD so much. But that's my schizo theory. I don't like, I think there's like a 5% chance that's true. I honestly don't know. We're just gonna have to wait and see. There's gonna be a lot of misinformation coming out. And I don't mean it's deliberate, it's just it's war. A lot of shit's happening really quickly. I think maybe to just end off, a good example of this is whenever you look at the kill counts of uh, tanks. Now, they're always much higher than you think they are. And that's not necessarily because the, everyone involved is lying and exaggerating. It's You can hit a tank with a shell or a missile or something. There's a big explosion. The tank looks singed. It stops moving. And you think it's a kill, but really you just blew off the track or you shorted a couple fuses or you did enough damage to disable it, but it can easily be repaired. And there's probably a lot of honest mistakes going on, but let me let, let me know what you guys think. Um, once again, this is probably going to be out of date as soon as it's up, but we'll see what happens.